Jessica Bush, this is my mom Roxana Bush, and today we're going to do something different. We are going to do a cardio Pilates class. So that means we are going to be toning, right, working on strength, upper body, legs, lower body, and abs, and we also want to keep that heart rate up. So you get a little bit of both, okay? Now if you want to do it a little bit lower, I can show the lower version. Also, we have weights and balls and gliders. If you don't have those, if you are at home and you don't have any, we have water bottles you can use for weights, okay? And then if you have paper plates, you can use these as gliders on a uh, hard surface, okay? Or even on carpet, I think, should work too. For the ball, yes, if you have a little volleyball or any type of kid's ball, that works great too, okay? Um, but modify anything you need to, and we are going to get started. So we are going to start with a warm up. I'll have to point out. We can, if you don't have bands, that's okay. Right. Okay. Bands too, if you have them to make the exercise harder, but if you don't have them, totally okay. All right. So we are going to start with a nice little warm up. My mom's going to do the workout today. Let's get that body moving. Get those shoulders rolling. I'm about to drop it in 
inhaling, exhale, squeeze the belly, curve the spine. Knees behind the toes, chest is tall. Okay, you're gonna give me four more, and we're gonna hold it down. Four, three, two, one more, bring it down and hold it. Hold it there, closest, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down and up, give me four, Bring it down, hold it, give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now that you're done, put your bottle down, okay? Right leg, chest up. Now lift your heel, same leg, right now. Give me four more, warming up the feet. Inhale and exhale, slow, and give me eight on the other side. Eight, seven, now your body is centered. Squeeze the belly toward the spine. Give me four more. Four, three, two, and one. Give me four. Right. Four, three, two, and one. Give me four left. Keep your body low. Yeah, if you need less, so you can be up a little yeah. more. Okay, you don't have to be all the way low. A little easier, right here. You My legs are burning already. <laughs> you can always modify. One more set. Two. Now you're gonna give me eight singles. Okay, let's bring it up. At eight, seven, six. Ooh, give me four more. Four, three, two, and one. Now right there, bring your knees. Check it out, check it out. Oh, yes. Now we're going to a lunge, okay? Now, in lunge you have that body.
a little bit of um, balance here as well. Okay, give me three more. Two, abs in tight still. Last one, now hold it up, bring it back to your lunge. And we're gonna pulse it right here. Look at the elbows. An inch or two, not much. Just kind of holding it there to make it a little harder. Pulse it up to the end. Four, three, two, and one more good. Ooh, yes, that feels good. All right, stretch it real quick. We got one more set here for shoulders, okay? Right out to the side. Shoulder to elbow again, stand, staying still. And then you're just holding the weights up to the elbows, okay? So good, now we're gonna add in that other leg if you wanted more. Down, lift to tap. Just a little step back, doesn't have to be a lot. Or bigger, all the way up. Okay, that's your modification if you want to go harder. Easier, remember you can just do arms. Three more. Two. Last one, now we're going to hold it up, bring it down to your lunge, right? If you want harder, right here. Less, right here. Four more. Three, two, and one, bring it up. Ooh, I feel that. Ooh, it's only been, what, like four days?
right? Going to that other leg. Curl, wide bicep curl to tap. A little harder. Kick it up. Okay, good. Now, if you still don't want that too hard, right here. You do not have to add in the legs. Okay, nice and easy. Two more. And last one. Take it down again. Arms come out from the elbows. Open and close. Pulse it out. Front knee behind that toe. Hips are directly over those two legs. Right in the center. Four. Three.
You want a little easier or just pretending? All right, a little harder. 
And we are going to do a lot more workouts, guys. So just stay tuned. You can always do this one twice if you want, right? And the other hip workouts as well. You can combine them together. Do one in the morning, one at night. And we are going to keep them coming. Make sure you hydrate. Make sure you hydrate. Well, that's you hydrate. So you eat less. <laughs> I know. I'm eating all my snacks. So. All right. So let's she ate the first thing. Knees are wide. Feet are together, okay, child's push, just bring those arms out, nice big inhale, and exhale. And think how much better you feel now, now that you've gotten a little work up, you've gotten that heart rate up, right, we're going to bring one arm underneath the other arm, you can hold it here, stretching the shoulder, if you want a little deeper stretch, Arm up, you can bring that arm behind the back, look up towards that ceiling. Good. All right, other side. And you can do this longer, right? We're kind of just going through it real quick. You can pause the video, stretch a little more. Back to center. Now, bring it up into tabletop. All right, hands and knees. Let's go cat and cat. So you're going to round out that back. Spread those shoulder blades apart. Really push through. And then we drop the belly towards the mat. That's the head. Nice big inhale. And exhale.